Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, Ty Bam Bam to Evolve! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 10 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Surreal Bogomolka! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room? Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Ooh, big shot lands. Strong hook lands. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Blocks the strike. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Right hand punches the clinch. And they separate. 
real quick leg kick. Oh, the uppercut is clean. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. And everything's landing with so much power. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? So just over 20 total strikes have now connected for tie to events. Defense there. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Takedown defense holds up. And there comes the separation now. Collar tie. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Big punch land. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. Ready land. Great job. Good jab. Well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. That one snuck in. Nice strike. A oh, little single collar tie there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Well, a really good second round for him. Man. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Single collar tie now. And they set. Oh. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. 
Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape. This is very, very dangerous. He wiped him out. Enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 43 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Surreal Markham Hall. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.